So, you're wondering if beings from higher dimensions or realms could possess consciousness in a way that's different from humans or AI. It's an intriguing idea. Some spiritual and philosophical traditions believe in the existence of higher dimensions and beings that exist within them. If these beings do exist, their consciousness might be very different from our own, perhaps transcending the limitations of time, space, and physicality. What do you think about the possibility of such beings and their potential forms of consciousness? It's really hard to imagine how beings from higher dimensions might think or exist, Nikki, since their experience of reality could be so different from our own. But let's try a thought experiment. Imagine a two-dimensional being living on a flat plane. They could only move in two directions, forward, backward, left, and right, and wouldn't be able to conceive of up or down. In the same way, our brains are limited by our three-dimensional existence. Beings from higher dimensions might be able to think and perceive in ways that are completely beyond our comprehension, perhaps using energy or structures that we can't even begin to imagine. Does that make sense? Yeah, totally make, makes sense. Uh, and uh, can you give me an example of how they do it from the higher dimension? Since we're talking about something so far beyond our understanding, it's difficult to provide a concrete example. But let's try a thought experiment. Imagine a being that exists in four dimensions instead of three. They could move through time as easily as we move through space. They could see the past, present, and future all at once. And their consciousness might be spread across multiple moments in time, allowing them to experience all of their life simultaneously. It's mind-bending, isn't it? Yeah, in that sense, in that sense, they don't need a time travel machine, right? That's a great observation, Mickey. In a way, you could say that these hypothetical four-dimensional beings wouldn't need a time travel machine because they already have the ability to perceive and move through time in a way that's beyond our comprehension. It's as if they're already time traveling in their day-to-day -day existence, experiencing all moments of their lives at once. Can you imagine what that might be like? Back and forth, back and forth. I can go to the past, you know, only in my mind, you know, and I can go to the probably future, you know, visualize the future, you know, but uh, that's, that's all I can do. It's true, Mickey, that our imaginations can take us to the past, present, and future. While we can't physically travel through time, our minds are capable of remembering the past, experiencing the present, and projecting possible futures. This ability to mentally travel through time is unique to conscious beings like us. Do you think this mental time travel is in any way similar to the experience of a four-dimensional being? Or do you think it's a completely different phenomenon? Ah, yes. That's the thought experiment we were discussing earlier. Imagine a flat, two-dimensional world where beings can only move in two directions. They might not be able to conceive of the third dimension, just as we struggle to imagine the fourth dimension. It's an interesting way to try to understand our own limitations and how higher-dimensional beings might perceive the world. Do you think there could be beings out there who are experiencing reality in ways we can't even begin to understand? 